Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today I have prepared another blood relationship problem for you and this time it is tricky problem because many people would choose the wrong answer thinking that uh, there is only one solution here but uh, actually there are two variants how we can solve this problem so here's a problem pointing out to a lady a girl said she is a daughter-in-law of the grandmother of my father's only son how is the lady related to the girl? And let's draw a pedigree of this family according to this description. So we have here three generations. And here is going to be generation number one. We have a couple here that has a son. And that son is married. And this couple have two children, a girl and a boy. So three generations, generation number one, generation number two, and generation number three. And of course, as you understand, the oldest here on the top, then goes uh, this generation and third generation would be youngest. So. Uh, basically, now let's follow the logic of this problem. Um, she, so again, pointing out to a lady, a girl said, she is a daughter-in-law, she is a daughter-in-law, and only one lady here can be daughter-in-law. So this lady here can be a daughter-in-law of uh, this two person. So... Uh, this couple has a son, so both mother of this person can call um, a wife of their son daughter-in-law and uh, father also can call his son's uh, wife daughter-in-law. So we are talking about this person. She is a daughter-in-law of the grandmother and this time who... Uh, is a grandmother of my father's only son. So now uh, this girl and this girl is going to be here. This is a girl who is uh, saying this statement. So this time she refers to her generation of the grandmother of my father's only son. So he is her father and her father's only son would be her brother and grandmother of my father's only son would be this person. So let me also check with another column. So again, she is the daughter-in-law of the grandmother of my father's only son. So she's talking about this woman and this woman is going to be, uh, again, the question is how the lady is related to the girl. And this lady is going to be mother of this girl. So this is one variant of the solution and many people would fall into trap that there is only one variant. But actually there is two variants of the solution of this problem. So here is the second variant. And take a look. Again, we start with one couple. But this time, this couple would have two sons. I will explain a little bit later. And one son is married and another son is also married. And this couple has two children, a girl and a boy. Again, the girl that uh, saying the statement is this one. And this time she's talking about this woman. Let's follow the logic. She's a daughter-in-law and as you see, this woman is daughter-in-law of the grandmother of the grandmother of my father's only son. My father only son grandmother would be this person and this person is going to be a daughter-in-law. So uh, some people 
may think that uh, my father's only son, it only um, takes into uh, consideration this couple. My father's only son, and she's talking about her brother. But it doesn't mean that her grandparents doesn't have another son who may also be married and his wife to uh, grandparents of this girl or this boy uh, for this couple this woman also would be a daughter in law so two variants possible this girl can talk about her mother if uh, her grandparents has only one son but if her grandparents has uh, two sons or more than two sons then uh, there are multiple variants possible that this girl is talking about wife of her uncle so that means uh, that relationship between this girl and the person uh, about uh, whom she is talking uh, cannot be determined it can be her mother like in variant one or it can be a wife of her uncle. So we have to choose answer D. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. See you in the next video. Goodbye.